Today I'm going to share with you how I cull fast using Photo Mechanic. Recently I had a mentor student say it is taking me hours to cull. Lightroom is getting so bogged down and I just don't have time for this and culling should not take that long. I'm going to share with you a little trick and exactly how I use Photo Mechanic. I'm Caitlin Workman and I'm here to encourage you on your photography journey. Before we get started, I have a free gift for you for watching. Today you can grab my 30 day Instagram challenge. It's a free challenge. It includes a template and a goal for something to share on Instagram every day in order to book your dream clients. So that link is in the description. Now let's get started. So when I start culling, first of all, I make sure that I'm comfortable and I make sure that I have a cup of coffee and I can just like get to it. I, I don't really like culling, so I will set a timer. I'll just do 20 minute timers and set my phone on do not disturb and I just knock it out, stay focused. It's amazing what you can do when you actually like focus on something <laughs> for longer than 30 seconds. So setting a timer really helps me. So let me show you guys just how I would get started and then we'll get into that. So I would make a new catalog in Lightroom, create folder, save as, I'm just gonna do YouTube. I'll save it to my desktop. Okay, so here's the catalog that I'm gonna use and we're not gonna import just yet. We're gonna open up Photo Mechanic and here's what it looks like. You can tell I was <laughs> looking up how to take screen recording. Um, okay, then I would put my card in. Now, full disclosure, I don't remember what's on this card. I just grabbed one, so we'll see. But then you can click, okay, this just popped up, but if that didn't pop up, let's go to the top and click File, Ingest. Okay, here's my card. Then you go over here to primary destination and I would pick this, that's our external hard drive. And I would do a new folder. We're just gonna do YouTube, raw, and delete. <laughs> Cause I've already, these are already imported on there. Okay. And then I would just ingest and then I would go take a break, get a drink of coffee, do something and come back and it would be ingested. So you can see um, they're just loading in right here. And we're not gonna sit here and watch this whole load, but you would just let it ingest, let all of those come in here. And when it's done, it will say done. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. A few moments later. Okay, so now here's um, an entire wedding. Actually, this is just I think this is just one card, which is ridiculous. Um, but I would go through, some people call backwards, I call forwards, I just like to look at the day like that. But I would just um, double click on this to make it big. And then I would go down and rate these. So I overshoot a ridiculous amount. Um, so there's like 15 as I was trying to get what I wanted. Um, but that's more the look I wanted. Yep, yeah, so you can see I've already culled these. So you can see what I selected, but. I already selected this. So I'd go down and I just use the number one to rate things red. You can choose different colors. I think two is yellow, three is green, four is blue. Um, so you can check, you can pick like a few very favorites. You could do like sneak peeks one color and then do all another color. I just go through the first time and I just do them all red. I just do a one cause it's easy. But I would go through and like, okay, you can see how fast it's loading. Like which of these is my favorite? Um, okay, that was my favorite. So I clicked that. Then I'd keep going, which of these was my favorite? Okay, I liked that one, select it. Those liked that one, I select it. Um, okay, so you can see like these were not really in focus, so I wouldn't keep those, I would keep that. Um, would keep that. That one was in focus, so that's the one that I kept. And you can see, you can just kind of fly through. That one's not in focus, so I wouldn't keep that. So I just went through and I clicked zero because I decided actually I don't want that one. Okay, then you can go edit. Um, actually, you have to X out of this first. And then edit select color class red because that's what I just decided. And then I'm gonna get, go view color class. Hang on, once it's selected, I'll do. Okay, there it's selected. Then view selected. And then I can see these are the ones that I selected while I was culling, okay? So then from there, you could go again and pull them up that way and say, okay, well actually I don't need both of those shoe shots. Let's take that one out. We'll give that one a zero. We do all of that, okay? 
then you can edit select color class red and then I would minimize this screen and go over here cancel because I wasn't importing okay so I have a library selected on here I'm gonna slide this over and then I'm not gonna click on this screen this is selected but I'm just gonna go over here with my mouse and I'm just gonna drag all of those and then this will pop up Okay, so then it popped up that there were 612 photos that we selected. Um, and then I'm just gonna go down here. So those you can see are, are checked right here. And then I'm just gonna click import. And then they're all going to import. And there you go, I'm done calling, which obviously I didn't call through the whole thing. I had already called through some of these, but I just wanted to show you guys what that process looked like. It's super easy. The problem with calling in Lightroom is that um, it takes so long for it to build previews that when you're going from photo to photo and it's like pulling up the photo, it just goes really slow. So you guys can see with that photo mechanic, it goes super easily. I hope that that makes your editing process smoother. If you guys wanna watch me edit some of these that I just culled, come back for next week's video and I'm gonna do a live editing for this wedding and show you guys exactly what changes I made and how I use my preset and all of those things. So make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss that next week and I hope you have a great week.